So I'm Kifu Farouk. I'm from Durham, North Carolina, and I use they, them pronouns. <laughs> My family would say that I'm a woman, I'm, you're a mama, you're a goddess, and Kifu will do anything. And whatever she's got going on now, which is some temporary shit, like, you know, jumping out of planes and scuba diving. And this queer thing will change eventually. It's been about 12 years, but I think folks are still waiting for that shift for me to come home again and like, like men again. That's what people would say about my, that Kifu will do anything. And this is just one of those things. I th yes, I think with my mother, um, difficult. Um, I, I think um, what I was trying to explain to my mother was that, because she was like, I know, that I saw the men. They came into my house. They still blow my phone up. I know you like men. Um, and so I tried to explain to my mother that I do, uh, that I am attracted to men, um, uh, but that... Um, when I think about who I want to partner with, who I want to walk with, who I want to be raising children with and building anything with, I want to be with someone who I trust my life with and I only feel that way about women. Um, I, I said, yeah, so mom, I'm a lesbian. This is, um, this is what I'm doing. I'm happy, thank God. My mom starts crying. Um, and says so she doesn't understand, right? And, um, and wants to know where she, where she went wrong. So I was raised without a lot of the gender norms um, that I think that are, are uh, put on us as folks who uh, are identified at birth as girls, right? So I'm the oldest um, and my mom literally just kind of let me raise myself. And I had her as a model as someone who is head of household, as someone who makes all the decisions in the household. Uh, and she basically did what she wanted to do. So whether those were traditionally masculine roles, if, that, if there is anything, uh, if that really is anything, or traditionally feminine roles, uh, I didn't identify them as such. This is what you do as a grown person, right? Like, uh, and you have full agency in that. We have to hold this line of the gifts that our parents gave to us through their, through modeling, like what gender means or it doesn't mean. They weren't explicitly doing that, right? As black women, you just show up and you do what, you do what needs to get done, right? Uh, in their minds though, especially in my mother's mind, she was doing this because of an absence of men, because of an absence of men, right? It's like, I wouldn't have to do these things if there was a man around to do them. I didn't see them as that. I saw them as, as an adult person, these are the things you, you do. And so, um, so then the length, because, so then the pushback is like, you could find a husband, you could have a man do these things. Why would you choose to do them yourselves or do this with another woman? Right? So those were the, and, um, so that's the sort of the hard tension. And I'm like, mama, all of these things were seeds. You didn't know you were planting seeds and composting. Uh, but this is what I saw right? Like our, our, our parents so much think that we are listening to what they say, but really we're, we're going to model what they're doing. That's our roadmap. Um, and so it feels, it, it felt like a betrayal, right? Her, really, she's not asking, the, the reason she's asking, what did I do wrong? Is she felt like she didn't do right by having a consistent male figure. And so then I misinterpreted what my role is as, as a woman, right? I took on these extra things. And so somehow like develop this latent masculine energy, right? That should be kept in check by the presence of a man in the house, right? So she's, she's saying, that's right. That's what she's saying to me. And I'm saying, oh, I know that, <laughs> right? I thought this is just what you're supposed to do. And thank you. Um, I like they because it's an acknowledgement of both my feminine and masculine energy. It's about a, a possession. Like the, the divine feminine feels like access to something that is more ancient than the performativeness of our clothes and our hair and our style. It's, it feels like something that I'm pulling up. And then 
the masculine uh, energy feels like something that I'm pulling down. Um, I don't know how to say it any other way. It's an inner, I can, and I can tell which one I'm holding or if I'm holding them both. And I've tried to explain that to my mother. Um, that's how I've explained it to her. It's, just, it's acknowledgement of all of who I am. Um, and she's been okay with that. She's like, I get that. I have masculine energy too. I was like, okay, mom.